Hi. So let us have a look at the second P of normal or vaginal delivery. That is preparations by a pregnant woman. Normal labor is like a marathon race. It's like an athletic event. There are some similarities and some differences between marathon and labor. Mar like a marathon race, normal labor requires a lot of physical strength, mental stamina, ability to handle pain, strong determination and confidence. Now let us see how both are similar. Both require months of preparation. The patient should prepare well, have proper game plan and have mindfulness also. Both of them have to concentrate on their breathing techniques. Both of them forget the pain and the struggle they've gone under after the event is over or the labor is over. Now let's see what are the differences between the two. The date. The date of marathon race is fixed, whereas the date of delivery can differ. As I have told in my previous videos, 80% deliver before the EDD, 10% on the EDD, and 10% may not deliver till the EDD is passed away. The start. The start of the marathon race is fixed and pinpoint, whereas it is not so for the labor. There may be a period of latent phase or pre-labor, and then the patient enters the active phase of labor. The partner or the family member is not allowed at the time of marathon race, but at the time of labor, a partner or family member can be allowed along with the laboring woman. The idea behind giving this simile was, just think, can, can you win a marathon race by not practicing or preparing for it? It's not possible. Similarly, it is not possible to have a normal labor gone through easily without making adequate preparations. Friends, my observation is that our patients, they consume a lot of extra calories, dry fruits, ghee, and these things like that. They remain sedentary throughout the nine months, and therefore, they end up putting on a lot of weight, which reduces their mobility, and also the fetus may become excess weight, have excess weight gain, and therefore the delivery may become difficult. So the important thing is to remain active, Concentrate on diet, have adequate weight gain, not excess weight gain and prepare mentally and physically for the event of normal labor. You must include pelvic floor exercises because this is a low risk exercise and gives you high reward. I want you to ask yourself whether you want to be a sufferer of pain in the childbirth or you want to actively prepare yourself to go through the labor and achieve a normal delivery. You can attend any of the classes for preparing for normal labor. There are classes conducted by my team also. We call them Garbha Sanskar classes. There are about 10 sessions we cover. First is on diet, then Din Charya, then how to instill Sanskaras in the fetus, then multiple M4, that is multiple intelligence, music therapy, mantra chikitsa and meditation. Sukshma Vyayama of Pregnancy, Pregnancy Yogasana, Pranayama, Preparation for Labor and Ninth Month of Pregnancy, Breastfeeding and Newborn Care and we have one session on Conscious Parenting for the parents. So you can attend any of the classes whether my classes or any other classes. In short, I will like to tell you that you must concentrate on Sukshma Vyayama and Pregnancy Yoga have proper breathing techniques, prepare yourself for breathing during labor. Also, you must practice relaxation. At the time of uh, labor, when you are having excessive pain, relaxation techniques are also very important. And also, you must include pelvic floor exercises. So friends, prepare yourself for normal delivery. Thank you.